Hello and welcome back. This is uh, the 20th video in the Flow Certified Professional Online Training Series. We're going to look at culture in the next couple of videos. And so we're going to look at culture, how we define that. And that's here in the first uh, video here. And then we're going to expand on that in the second video. In the third video, we're going to look at what happens when cultures collide. For culture, the components include vision, mission, purpose, core values, attitudes, strategies, goals, and objectives. If you literally go look up the definitions for culture and look at it various dictionaries, the uh, Oxford American or uh, Merriman Webster, um, different dictionaries, and you start looking at how they define culture, you're going to find that often you are going to find the following words, vision, mission, purpose, values, attitudes, strategies, goals, and objectives in the definitions. So that's why we've uh, included these in flow. Culture eats strategy for breakfast, one of Peter Drucker's most famous quotes. Uh, Ted and I expanded that and Actually, I did, and it was basically culture eats uh, strategy and everything else for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and so it's, uh, it's really important to understand that culture is a tough thing to transform. It takes time. So that was my quote up there. Culture eats everything for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so in culture, we include all of these. And you'll notice that once again, it's going from very abstract ideas, vision and mission and purpose, and even core values, getting down into a little more concrete when you start getting into strategies and goals and objectives, because you can actually start to measure both of those. You can even measure core values and attitudes, uh, team health and things like that. Measuring vision, mission, and purpose, that gets much more challenging. Here's sort of how um, I separate these out. And I, I grab some of the definitions from the dictionary. Those are first. And then how I've interpreted that is second. So vision is the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. And for me, it's basically, what do you want to be in the future? It's a 2B statement. Vision statements are almost without exception written in the 2B format. Mission, it's an important assignment given to a person or group of people, typically involving travel abroad. I've taken mission to be the business that you're in. Purpose, the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. And this is basically the why for your vision. And so uh, what's your why answers what your purpose is. What's the higher calling that you're doing all of this for? Values and attitudes are principles or standards of behavior. One's judgment of what's important in life. And remember the poster that I talked about where he had nothing but check marks down the poster of the value statements for his organization. And so, and that's basically, are you actually walking the talk or just talking the talk? Strategies are a plan of action or policy decide, designed to achieve a major or overall aim. And for me, a strategy is your roadmap for getting to where you want to be, okay? So it's the how do you make the vision happen. That's why we have vision, strategy, people, and tasks. Goals and objectives. A lot of companies, and straight from uh, the project management body of knowledge definition, a lot of companies will use a thing called SMART. It's an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic and time-bound. 
Okay. And for me, it's concrete, measurable increments of prioritized value, valuable work. So in this uh, section, we are now about almost 40% through all of the videos. Keep hanging in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for the recap, we've started to look a little bit at culture, the components of culture. And I've had discussions with people out on LinkedIn about, you know, their definition of culture. But I'm not really sure that they've taken the time to get into the entomology and semantics of what do these words mean. Because if they did, and they looked at the way that we've put this together, they would go, Oh, culture is not just the sum of all of that, it's the sum plus. So the application of this, and this is abstract and it's tough to do, but the application is, as a leader, am I actively shaping the culture that I want? And we're going to see that in the next video of how do we help shape that and how do we help direct the flow in the direction that the culture is moving. Okay. That's the, that's the question that I need to ask myself as a leader. Am I actively shaping the culture I want? Or the opposite question is, or am I contributing to the anti-patterns that work against the vision and that actually create a culture that's toxic? Because either you're going to have a culture that works or you're going to have a toxic culture where people are going to burn out and they're not going to want to work for you.